Hi everybody, good morning, welcome to uh, a second Ezra, and we look here at that there is a lot of, um, uh, just a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, name in here of who is uh, uh, going back to Jerusalem, the captives who are going, who are returning to Jerusalem, and we go through a lot of the genealogy and stuff like that, and um, you know, what I noticed here is, is that there is um, some unnamed, um, but some of them, they're, um, their names, they, they still have their callings. Like if you look at uh, verse 36, it says the priests. 40 says the Levites. 41 says the singers. 42 says the sons of the gatekeepers. 43 says the, the Nethanim, which are the temple slaves. 55 says the sons of Solomon's servants. You see, just because Israel was taken captive, just because the people were taken captive, it doesn't mean that they lost who they were. It doesn't mean that they lost what their calling was. You know, when that, that uh, you know, for us, it translates into it, it, it how does it, it affect our, how does this affect our lives is that just because we're born into a world of sin and just because we, we live in this body that has a tendency to just keep sinning and it has, a, it, it only, you, your body only wants to do what makes it feel good. And just because we have all that, it doesn't mean that we lose our calling. Just because we're, we're born in, into this world of just filth and disgustingness, it doesn't mean that we don't have a calling. You know, God tells us, as we were talking about the other day, that he does have a plan and a purpose for us. And, and that is for each and every one of us. He has a plan and a purpose for us. And there are no circumstances that can take that away. You see, God, when he looks at us, he, let's say he looked at David he looks at, and pardon me, I'm going through some allergies here. He looked at David, he said, he called David a man after his own heart. So, even though David David lived in this world and he did things that, that are shameful, still to God, when God see him, God said, that's a son after my own heart. That's my son after my own heart. And he looks at me and he looks at you as who he's called us to be. And he is... He, taking our lives and he is molding us if we allow him day by day scenario by scenario whatever it is and he is molding us to be that person that man or that woman that he has called us to be you see the slaves here the the uh, 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 Israel here even though they had been taken captive to to Babylon and even even though they had been made slaves even though that there were people above them, even though there were all of these circumstances, they still kept who God has called them to be. Israel is God's special place. That's God's special people. And nobody can take that place. Christians can't take the place. We are, um, for lack of better words, we are in addition to. We can't take the place of that. But we are still an apple in God's eye. We are still that apple. You know, I picture Jesus when he was on the cross and that he had this little twinkle in his eye. And I picture that twinkle is me. For you too. That twinkle is you. But with that twinkle comes a calling and a responsibility. And nothing on this earth is going to take that away from you. <laughs> Nothing on this earth will take that away from you. Except you. You're the only one. How do you know your calling? You'll find it by getting lost in God. That's how you get found. You get lost. Get into God. Seek after Him. Read His Word. I found my calling by somebody asking me to teach. And in studying for that lesson, God revealed to me that that is my calling, is to teach the Word. As a very young Christian, somebody asked me, hey, would you like to teach? I said, sure, I'll try it. And in that, in that studying, God pointed out to me what was my calling. If I hadn't been obedient, if I hadn't studied, if I hadn't this, if I hadn't that. But the point is that we all have a calling there's nothing on this earth that can take that away, except you. And there's only one way to fulfill it completely, to fulfill it righteously, to fulfill it wholly. And that is in Christ Jesus.
I love you all. I hope you have a super, super day.